Psychology in the Fast Lane Difficult Topics Explained Experimental Design Think of the experimental method as a way of isolating what is causing something to happen. Here's a simple example of isolating a cause. You notice that your car is making a squeaking noise when it's running. You walk around the car and listen for where your sound is coming from. You notice that one of the parts is wiggling around. By listening to locate the source of the sound, you used your auditory perception. And you've confirmed it with visual perception. So you hold it in place and the squeaking stops. You let it go, and the squeaking continues. After repeating this action, you can conclude that the wiggling part is the cause of the sound. Tighten up that part, and you now have a quiet car. First you observed the squeaking sound, then you described it by pinpointing its location. Then you made a prediction, or you hypothesized, that the wiggling part may be related to the squeaking sound. Then you tested your hypothesis by stopping the wiggling part and observing the sound stop. You repeated the test and compared the non-wiggling and wiggling conditions, or the control and experimental conditions. Then you came to a conclusion. The wiggling of the part is causing the squeaking noise. And you acted, tightening the mechanism to keep it from wiggling, and you fixed the problem. Science at its most basic. Now, let's look at an example from the psychology field. A group of neuroscientists observed that people with traumatic brain injury, which is severe brain damage caused by physical accidents, have difficulty recognizing facial emotions very well. They formed a hypothesis that TBI leads to impaired recognition of emotion in faces. Their solution was to create a group exactly equal to the TBI group in every way except having TBI. Same gender, sociocultural, and age characteristics, just not brain damaged. Then they tested each group by showing them pictures of faces and asked them to identify the emotions in the pictures. They found that the TBI group did in fact recognize fewer emotions accurately, an average of 15 out of 20 compared with the control group's 18. They concluded that TBI does cause impairments in recognizing facial emotion. Just remember, the experimental method is designed to determine the cause of something by isolating the hypothesized causes and comparing their controlled results.